Thomas Oliver, just a little reply back to you there now. You're, you're coming along with this trouble that you knew nothing about and a whole lot. Now, I just have to get, I'll, I'll just state facts with you for a start. I'm not a fellow for Facebook, I'm no good on it. You know that yourself. I don't entertain it. But I just want to get a lot of facts right. If you were out, Thomas, out and you were getting your little crowds, as you would say, we got crowds. Now, we have crowds. Uh, if you want to go and bring an outsider's into this is not threatened, we can bring people into it as well. And uh, as I saying there, if you were fighting for your woman, your woman is a clean, decent woman. Everyone knows that, but she'd have to be because she's Stokes. She's a clean, decent woman. You were fighting for your brother John, that he's out there down in Longford and he done it all over. That every young one that he comes in drinking with, he's putting her hands down their clothes, making little men and make little of his own wife. Now, Zena went up the other day and she said that she'd wait 10 years for him. Well, now she got her prayer because she's doing 10 years. She will, he will do 10 years. And now without what he's already doing. And uh, if that was your woman, Thomas, we'd understand that. But you were not fighting for your woman. You were fighting for your brother, for, for a, a paedophile like him. You were fighting for him. And you come along and tell you the trust I had. The trust I had in you and your family. For 43 years of friendship. And this was the thanks I got. I was that sure that my son in your company was 100% safe. They were sent down. The women were sent down with pepper spray the first day. And told Lori Law aside for one young fella. I said, how to you that that morning? The next morning I was in England. You knew I was in England anyway. And when I was in England, so you, you sent out three, the three biggest men you had. You sent out three men. And as I said, Thomas, you were fighting for yourself or fighting for your woman. As I said, a clean decent woman, she's told she'd have to be clean and decent. But you were fighting for a fella. You're fighting for a fella. That's what, that's what has you in this trouble, Thomas. You were son for 43 years. I was in your father's company for 43 years. Anytime your sons and your brother was in my company and your father... When Rose Dart and your father be sitting on the counter letting on to be asleep, when his sons will be getting hit, when I go over there and I save your son, I take up for them, for his sons, when he let honey was asleep with a couple of pints. And that's the friendship he showed us back. A second daddy, when you were down there and kissing ours and kissing me, kissing me, a second daddy, Cathy was a second mommy. And that's what he done. For us to do that to, to, to John, we, Patrick was a lifetime friend with John, you know that. They done their own things. He was a lifetime friend. And say so you had to go then three cowardly men, that's all I call them, ditch rabbits. Sorry. Three cowardly men to come out with a young fellow with nothing in his hand. And say so you come back there then and say, so you're sorry then for it, charge for charge. Say so with a knife, you brought the knife into it, we didn't bring knives into it. You brought knives into it. And thing, Thomas, you were instead down there with your own shy talk, then you were sorry. You come back down there and you were out in the street of Patrick's a bag. Patrick had no bag because he's a Stokes. Patrick had no bag or never needs a bag, thank God. He never. And that's what you done. They know to do a cowardly act like that there and then you were coming along there. Because you were two faced, Thomas, all your life. You were telling us one and you're telling Tommy another thing and then you were going back then and you were encouraging them. Do you fucking think you're mafia or what the fuck is wrong with you? Is it gone to your fucking head? Now, Thomas, you, you come back along there, say, you're five, you're five minutes you're going to Sean's house. You were the fellow that had a crowd when we went down. You, you had four fights, not the young fellas. That's what you had. And, and you come along and you said, Sean was out in the road. Sean asked you to come up man to man. You didn't do because you had to go. And the cardboard gangsters, we call them Mars Mahan. Every time Mars Mahan, this trouble was settled, Mars Mahan came down. But Mars Mahan is doing no jail. It's the boys that's doing the jail for Mar Mars doing because he thinks he's a gangster. And he's telling you what to say. He's into your fucking ear. And he has you all run. And there ain't a simple reason for that. Because if Mars, you have to go by Mars. Because your daddy would be homeless. That's Mars' house. Your daddy is only a lodger. He'd be put out. Uh, John Keenan. David Joyce. Them houses. Willie Stokes is in another one. Belong to Mars. Peter's in another one. Belong to Mars. So you have to do what he... He pulls the strings. He makes the muck balls and you fire them. And every time Mars come, this trouble was settled a hundred times, and you can contradict me if I'm wrong. This was settled a hundred times till the cardboard gangster came from Dublin. And every time he come bad luck with a couple of bottles and his out snip up the nose, he was into the rear. Yeah, bring your children to school with pepper spray. Do you think we're fucking fools? And that's all I'm saying to you. No crowd gather for you because we don't go down that late crowd. For who, Thomas? Who would we need crowds for? And you coming along and you're getting, who are you getting, Peter Keener and Anita, from Minnes to come down? Mm -hmm. So it's, that's what I'm saying, if you want to bring in crowds, we can bring them in. 
had a fucking cheeky you. Oh, uh, you have a bag. Patrick has no bag. He has no bag in anybody. Because he's a proper stoke. And I tell you a hundred times, we don't run. You know that we don't run. We stand around, we don't run. We dine roads. And that's all I have to say, Thomas. Now you can reply any way you want. I'm just telling you facts. That's all started from your Peter Pie brother. Every day he goes there, he's trying to maul in women, and he's one own woman in there looking at. So for fuck's sake, if, if he doesn't want her, why doesn't he go on and get someone else? And do the fucking decent thing. And that's, that's all I'm replying to you. The cardboard gangsters causing this every time you come down. 